The Conan Exiles team have released one of the first dev blogs for update 3.0, and this one covers the building overhaul. This is a pretty important part of the update for me and all the other builders out there, so let's take a look at what this includes. The overhaul is designed to make building effortless and seamless regardless of if you're playing on a keyboard and mouse or on a controller. I have heard from some people, both on console and playing on controller with a PC, that building with said controller is pretty fiddly at the best of times. I don't have any experience with that myself, but I can imagine it would be. So how exactly have they overhauled the building system? Well, firstly, building now has a dedicated interface that separates it from the crafting and item management system of the inventory. Previously, if you wanted to build stuff, you'd have to gather resources, work out how many building pieces you need, craft them, move them to your hotbar, and then place them. Now the busy work of that process is contained within the new building interface. You'll still need to gather resources of course, but the crafting, moving and placing now seems to be done automatically when you try to place a piece down using the new interface. Once you make a construction hammer, which I believe will probably be a very low level tool, you can open the interface and access building pieces directly from the UI. Pieces here are categorised by various factors depending on if they're building pieces, decorations or crafting stations, hopefully making finding items much faster. The interface will also show you what you can craft with the resources in your inventory, and exactly how many you can make of each item, cutting much of the frustrating maths out of precise survival building. So with this overhaul we get a few new mechanical options. Whilst building, you can hit right click on PC or the right bumper on console to toggle between addition or removal, allowing you to quickly make adjustments and delete items. This sounds much easier and hopefully much more precise than the current system. Hopefully the deletion tool will help you to determine what pieces rely on the stability of other pieces and therefore should help newer players to learn the stability mechanics which are, admittedly, at times kind of confusing. Additionally, you can also equip an item that is already placed in the world, similar to Minecraft's creative mode. If you simply look at a building piece you want and either click the middle mouse button on PC, or click the right stick in on console, you can equip the item to your currently active brush, so you don't need to open the menu for every building piece swap. Honestly, even building on PC where there are multiple hotbar slots, and even mods that allow you to have multiple hotbars at once, it can still be fiddly having to swap, say, 15 or so building pieces around when you're rapidly building up a complex structure. Hopefully, this will make that much easier. The aforementioned commands can also apparently be rebound, and they've made multiple minor tweaks and improvements to building. They don't explain completely what they are, but rather they encourage players to try out the test live when it comes out, and I assume we'll probably get some complete patch notes with all the changes in the near future. One concern I've seen come up a few times about update 3.0 in general is how it will handle mods. In regards to the building system, Funcom says that this was built with mods in mind, and existing mods should work perfectly fine with this new interface. Modders will also be able to add their own sorting options with new categories, so if you're someone like me or some of the other people I know where they run 10, 15, even up to 70 mods at a time, Hopefully with all the new categories you won't have to scroll through thousands of modded items. Overall, this seems good. I'm always a bit wary of building changes as I think it's a really fine balance between what works and what is a bit overcomplicated and fiddly, but if this overhaul is as good as Fun Karma pitching it as, I think it could be great for building and could make it way more accessible for everyone. If you enjoy my content, all the links to my Twitch, Twitter, Discord, Patreon, Host Havoc affiliate page, NordVPN discount and NordPass discount are available in the description below. However, of course, you can simply just leave a like, a comment or subscribe, any of those are very greatly appreciated. Patrons get a bunch of nice benefits including sneak peeks of videos, your name in every video, custom made wallpapers in 1080p and 4k resolutions, full size build blueprints, discord roles and more. As always, a massive thanks to our patrons Sadialot, Randar, Connor, Ivy, Torn, Ill-Fated, CoffeeMan04, Jacques, Marion Ladd, Ryan, Ben, Alfric, Eagle Rose, Psychotic Diva, Melanie, and X Screeches X. As always, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon.